Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. This is Necessary Food Hub. In this video, I'd like to share with you how I make this okra soup. I have different various methods of making okra soup, but this is one of my recipe. Um, if you're seeing this video for the first time, why don't you like, share and subscribe? Turn on your red button so that whenever I post a video, you'll be able to see it. And for my own subscribers, I thank you guys. For this recipe, I'll be listing the ingredients I use in the description box. But um, I have some of them here. Um, I have smoked fish, I have my protein, different types of meat. I have okra and I have pepper. I have my kale leaf and I have uh, salmon. Um, yeah, I have uh, locust beans, igu. I have it as well. I have my fish, crayfish, and all that stuff. I'll be listing it in my description box for the ingredients I use. So, first off, I'll start by cutting my okra. Yes, kind of dice it any style you want. Um, I like my own not to be too small and not to be too big, so a bit chunky because I like getting it when I eat in my food. So, I'll cut some while I'll blend some. Blending some will make it to be very dry, like when you put it in your okra, even if you're not using obono to thicken it, um, the blended one will make it to draw very well. So now I'm cutting my okra. This is the size I want. I don't want it to be too big. I don't want it to be too small. So. So, continue cutting it until everything is done. That is it. This is what I want. This is the size I want my okra. So now, this is the part I want to blend. I'm blending it with my yellow pepper. This is very flavorful. So, I like the flavor in my okra soup. I like my okra soup to be fresh, to smell fresh. So now, I'm going to blend it again with some um, onions. Yes, I'll blend everything together and use it for my okra soup. So right now, I'm adding a little bit of water. That will help to blend this very fast. Yes. So I'll continue doing this and the next, I'll start by heating my pot. In that pot, I'll add a little bit of oil. Um, I'm not gonna uh, bleach this oil, no, I just want it to be a little bit warm before I'll add my onions and I'll start cooking. Like I said earlier, there are different methods to cook okra soup. At this point, if you want to fry your okra, then you can go ahead and pour in your okra. But this particular method, I'm not gonna fry it. I want it to be as fresh as ever. Like, I don't want to overcook my okra, so I'm not gonna fry it. I'll continue uh, by pouring in the blended okra and other ingredients. So right now, I'll go ahead and pour in my meat stock. After doing this, I'll pour in my okra, that's the blended okra. So now this is the blended okra. I'll leave it to simmer for a moment before I'll start adding other ingredients. So right now I'm adding my blended obono. Yeah. So in this situation, if you don't want to add obono, just use it with the blended okra. It will still give you the same texture and consistency as if you use obono but i have obono so i'm gonna use it with it with the ok blended okra so yes right now i'll allow it to simmer for some time and i'm adding my stock cube so from now you should add your your pepper your stock cube your crayfish all the ingredients that you have like just add it so now i'm adding my blended crayfish Lucas beans and pepper 
that's what I added now. I'll allow it to simmer for some time, then I'll go ahead and add my protein, like whatever type of protein you have. In this situation, I'm using some sea fish, sea uh, like prawn and mussels and other type of sea. For me to get this smoky flavor, I kind of grilled my fish and smoked it and uh, my mackerel. So I'll wash it now and add it into it because I love the flavor it gives to okra soup. Yes, so I'll wash it off, take off all the stuff that you don't need like the intestine and the bones then I'll add it to my okra soup then I'll go ahead and add other protein that I'll be using for this recipe and this is my beef, my hard chicken and stock fish yes I'm adding everything together even my cow leg is inside it as well yeah I'll leave it to simmer for some time then I'll go ahead and add my vegetables. So it has been on fire for a few minutes, like it has been boiling for a few minutes. And I'll go ahead and add my okra. You remember, I want it to be fresh. So this okra is the last thing, one of the last thing I'll be adding in this recipe. I don't want it to stay in on fire for a long time. So after adding this okra, I'll go ahead and add my vegetables, which I'm using kale. I'll leave this to simmer for a few minutes, maybe about two to three minutes, because I want it to be fresh. So, this has been on fire for about two minutes. Yes, so right now i'm adding my vegetable this is kale leaf so i will leave it for simmer in fact i'm gonna turn off the light while the vegetable cook because i don't want it to be soggy i want it to be fresh and voila my soup is ready in fact get your get your plate get your plate and get your swallow yeah you can as well lick it yes my soup is ready to be consumed. Get your plate so that we'll enjoy this pot of goodness. Guys, if you're seeing this video for the first time, or if this is the first time of coming to this channel, my channel, Nasa Sint Food Dog, what is stopping you from supporting me so that I'll produce more of this video? If you love food, come to my channel, support me, thumbs up, so that whenever I post a video, you'll be the first to see it. And for my old subscribers, my returnees, I thank you guys for always supporting me. I'll see you again in my next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.